Sacred Cacao Ceremony. The cacao ceremony is a powerful shamanic ritual that opens your heart, gives you space to express your truth, and creates a loving connection between participants. Cacao is a sacred plant with amazing properties used in several shamanic ceremonies. It connects with the spirit that links all of us, humans, animals, plants, nature elements, the whole earth. We use cacao prepared in a sacred ritual coming from the ancient wisdom of Peru. During the drinking ritual, all together we connect with the plant and receive its teachings that are different every time and for everybody. We will dance and sing and connect with the Great Spirit surrendering to its wisdom and to the super consciousness celebrating life and love. Creating a relaxed, loving space to share within the group, we liberate our inner being and enjoy being beautiful and rituals and dances in which we celebrate our divine nature. Just let go and give space to expand yourself. It is a deep, safe journey all together where everybody can connect and be his or her own unique truth with support of the group. I invite you to make you a sacred space with clear boundaries where everyone can feel free to enjoy and express their own being. Okay, so I'm going to probably tell you the most easiest way to um, have a nice, simple, sweet, not confusing ceremony with cacao. Now you make your cacao, make sure you take the time to smell the cacao, kind of like the tea ceremony that I uh, have another video about. Uh, with cacao you need to smell the cacao, listen to it being poured, listen to it being made, have your nice common music on meditation or if you want it more upbeat because you want to be more energetic then choose the music that's right for you. And um, just pause and hold the cup like you would with the tea ceremony. Feel the warmth and then place it against your chest and feel the warmth against your chest. I absolutely love the homemade clay cups because of the way they hold the heat inside but it's just slightly warm. I love that and you get the smell. And then your heart just fills with warmth and with a smile set your attention for the day knowing that it's going to be infused in your cup of cacao. Make your cacao and put it in a thermos if you want to go out into nature and then find a quiet spot in nature. You can start by offering a bit of the cacao to a tree or plant nearby as a symbol of gratitude everything has a spirit and you can also sip your cacao as you walk inviting the senses of openness as you notice the colors around you observing the animals across your path or any scents from local florals you can find that your precipitation of everything is expanded and the sense of ease just fills you up fills your being and it's lovely. Another good thing about a cacao ceremony is you can really connect with either your friends or your family if you're struggling or you're having a hard time with your friendship or your relationship or anything of the sort and or maybe you're just two friends that's just so stressed out and you both want something to relax you. You can do this easily. You utilize the same process for the morning cacao ritual that I just told you. Once it is prepared, sit outside and face each other. Um, sit on the ground with your legs crossed and give thanks. Make sure also 
um, around you. Place some stones, and I, I'm very, very <laughs> focused on stones, stone circles, and put those around. I will get to that in a whole nother video, but do it for this. And take your first step together. It anchors your intentions into your cells, and um, for every step, share something that you're grateful for. And keep going until you finish your cup. And um, once you're done with uh, all of this, make sure that you have a nice little journal at your side. And once you're finished, just jot down what all your thoughts are, um, your connections and your personal journey and what you thought about it. Make that connection with yourself, write it down, and that way that you have um, a little bit more of observation of what happened and what your gratitude is for the cacao. And it can help you also close the ritual by doing this by ending with your journal and do it for about five minutes about your experience and that's the end of a cacao ceremony um i mentioned i will just i'm going to shortly mention here the circles um many cacao ceremonies will involve a group of people so sitting in a sacred circle or surrounding yourself in a circle on the outside if there's only you or only two people, it's a great way to um, take prayer and setting intentions to be received. Each person in the big circle will let go of what they are calling in their hearts. And um, this big circle is a great way to complete it and creates a safe intimate space where everyone's fears hopes sufferings and dreams can be shared um circle also protects you from negativity outside of it um people in the circle act as a mirror of each other you know and um we often find that most of us humans have very similar problems and fears and hopes for our lives so after you have done all those steps um, it is not necessary but if you would love to um, finish it up with a nice ending after your journaling you can dance and um, just enjoy yourself um, enjoy the cacao help activate it within your heart and your body flowing the energies and transforming through opening the heart cacao enables us to hear our true selves work through our blockages and past traumas dissolve any pent-up negative energy and help us align our chakras with who we truly are it's a wonderful time to give ourselves mental and physical space and peace you get to switch off and retreat inwards helping you learn more about yourself we'll be leaking at the end of this video um, two different videos one is the vision quest video it explains the rock circles the importance of a rock circle why you should do it and a vision quest is a great way also to connect and you can add cacao in with a vision quest as well um, there's a good significance uh, for the rock circle if there's only like two people participating or only one. It keeps the negative energy out. I explain it more in the vision quest uh, video. And um, another good one to check out is the tea ceremony because you can do this on a daily basis when you're not doing cacao. And um, it really helps to center you and ground you and align you as well. Thank you for tuning in and please keep an eye out for my next video. Click the bell, subscribe and like and comment. Let me know what you think about this video. I enjoy doing these videos for you guys. 
Have a beautiful, blessed week.